I am alive and well, do not worry, and as you've seen with the title of this video, I'm going to roughly go over my plans for Season 4 and for the channel, and you'll see in the background what I've been kind of getting up to since the season has started. Skipping the depletes of course, because we've obviously never had any of them on this channel. With last season's pushing for the title, it did honestly burn me out, I won't beat around the bush. The LFG experience is the final boss in most of the seasons, it's not even the dungeons. And then alongside playing something off meta and getting declined constantly, it was, yeah, it was, it was rough. Unfortunately as well, we did actually miss out on the title, but, and a big but, we did manage to get a whopping 3.6k, I think we ended 3603, something along those lines. With all pugs, which is honestly really impressive. And as you saw, there was a lot of highs and a lot of lows playing in pugs. Yeah, I was really, really happy with where we got to. Speaking on the title, for this season, I most likely won't be pushing for it. Uh, definitely not as hard as I did last season anyway. I can't help myself enjoying high keys, so I will be doing higher keys. And I will be kind of like trying to get my score up, but definitely at a slower pace this season. I don't want to burn myself out before the war within. So we'll end up wherever we end up. But if the title is within range, I might go for a push. But yeah, it just depends. I'm not going to stress out about it. In WoW at the minute, I've been playing some ults. I've been pushing on my Shaman as it's always really enjoyable at the start of a new season, getting new pieces of gear, seeing what sort of damage we can do with the gear we have. I've also been trying to find an ult to settle on, but I'm super indecisive. I've mostly been playing my Broken Shadow Priest and my Mage. If you got any suggestions on what you think I might like, then do please let me know in the comments. It doesn't have to be meta, it could be anything really. I've also been streaming on Twitch if you want to catch me there too. It's always nice seeing people who mostly just watch the YouTube stuff and then they actually catch me live. It was a nice feeling. They leave a nice little comment. It makes my day. So if you haven't and you want to potentially see me deplete live and talk absolute nonsense to the chat, then head over there and give me a follow. In terms of other content for the channel, I'll be doing my tips and tricks videos again, but I'm going to shorten them down and cut out some gameplay. But that's mostly what my plans are so far for Season 4. In regards to Enhancement and this season, I was hoping for some percentage buffs alongside specific buffs, mostly just regarding survivability as well on Mythic Plus and bigger target count damage. For an example, they could just make Frost Shot uncapped, but it does reduce damage above 6 to 8 mobs. And they could also make Flame Shot potentially spread to 8 targets. These are just quick examples off the top of my head. And to be honest, I'm really, really, really hoping in the War Within they address the target cap situation they made the Shadowlands for no reason really, because we are still one of the specs still suffering from that change. I still love playing Enhancement and I always will. I love the visuals, I love the priority system. I just love how the spec flows, it's just great. I'm not going to lie, it is a little demotivating running certain dungeons like Al Ghaffar Academy for an example. I know most of it is just padding on the lashes, but seeing some classes do 200k above you at the end of the dungeon and some classes already getting 1 million overall, it's just, yeah, it's mad. I wish I could do 1 million overall, even if I am padding on the lashes. It's just, yeah, big numbers. Who doesn't like pressing buttons and seeing their numbers fly up? We still have our strengths regarding funnel, but the gap between us and other classes for that isn't really as big as it was. And other classes also have mass AoE and better defensive. I am ranting, I wanted to get this off my chest, I do not apologise, it is what it is, you can listen to me rant, or you cannot. I wish Blizzard had more of a hands-on approach to these sort of situations when it comes to balancing. I know it is a meme season, so they're probably locked straight into the wall within, trying to make that as good as they possibly can. But for someone like me who likes hopping onto WoW, pushing keys, kind of be trying to be competitive at the game, I'd like the opportunity to be able to play more and not feel like the naughty child that no one wants to play with. That's about it though, I hope you're enjoying Season 4. And to end on a slightly more positive note, I do really commend Blizzard for adding the Boolean system like they did in the previous expansion Shadowlands at the end. I really wish they would keep this for regular seasons because Sometimes you get unlucky, I had a situation on my ult where they'd LFR a normal two weeks and I didn't get any items from both raids with the group loop. So having the opportunity to buy the items is honestly just amazing. Yeah, please do keep this Blizzard, it would be great for regular seasons. 
just regarding the raids, how are you finding them? I actually really like Vault, so it was nice to raid that again. And Amidrasil is probably my close second. Have a good rest of your day, and I shall catch you next time.